It is the second day of fasting for the Muslims, the Friday of 18th May 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Raithina Sejia. Here we look at stories making headlines across the country. And we start from Kagadi District. A security guard attached to SGA security has been strangled by unknown assailants who also went away with his rifle and five bullets. The district police commander Kagadi Romeo Ojara Onek identified the deceased as Philip Sand, a resident of Changwari in Hoima district. He was working with SGA security company in Kagadi town and was deployed at MTN Kagadi outlet. Ojara said at around 4 4.50 AM on Wednesday morning, he got a call from Kenneth Baguma, the zone supervisor for SGA Kagadi, that one of their staff had been murdered. He said they quickly condoned of the area and brought the police knife a dog to help trace their silence. Baguma said he had visited him on Sunday at around 1.40 AM during a routine supervision and found him on duty. He said at around 4 a.m. on Wednesday, he got a call from Centenary Bank that the fire siren had gone off. He rushed there and sorted out the anomaly. On his way back, he narrated. He checked on his staff only to reach the MTN outlet and there was silence. Moving on to Buyuka District, the resident district commissioner Fred Bamwine has rejected some of the heifers distributed through Operation Wealth Creation, instructed those who deliver the animals known to offload them until he arrived at the district headquarters. He began by inspecting the two trucks before observing that one of the animals did not have in calves while others had given birth before something which contravened the procurement agreement the supplier insisted that the heifers were young but bamwina instructed the district veterinary veterinary officer dr gerard mwanje to examine the animals bamwina said the animals were procured from untusi in a Zimbabwe district and that mwanje had brought each at two point five million shillings. After examinations, Mwanje reported that some were one month pregnant, but, Mamu but Bamwine rubbished his findings, saying it was difficult to tell a pregnant cow at one month. Bamwine faulted both the supplier and Mwanje for contravening the, guideline, the guidelines. He acknowledged receipt of the animals and instructed Mwanje to return them and replace them with those that met the standards. As we continue looking at other stories making headlines across the country, let's take a snip look at what is making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. The headlining story today is former MPs to get 100 million shilling handshake. Also in the New Vision, police boss knocked dead. In our manifesto, the journey so far and also the royal wedding. Church of England classic with a twist. Then we have MPs reject ban on old cars and circles taxes. Yeah, well, let's go into let's see what's making headlines inside the new vision. We have Museveni, Mozamb Mozambican, um, Mozambican leader hold bilateral talks. Also, uh, okay, DPG is up for union. We have a uh, government to add 1,000 megawatts of power to national grid. Moving on in what's making headlines in today's copy of the new vision, Makere Chinese Vasti to exchange students and lecturers. Okay, every Friday we have the harvest and money pull out. The harvest and money pull out is your successful guide to farming. And the headlining story is money from bees, how Selassie a could squeeze cash from hives. That is a story that you have to read when you get your copy of the new vision. Also, see how to improve aroma in cup <laughs> and pocket. Yeah, that is a story here in the Harvest Money Pullout. If you're a farmer or aspiring to be a farmer, the Harvest Money Pullout is the only guide that can help you achieve your dream. We have visiting Netherlands, improved our farming practices. These are the winners of the, uh, the best farmers, best farmers winners that, uh, okay, they were awarded in 2017, which was last year. They're now giving us a testimony how the Netherlands um, improved their farming practices 
Get your copy of the Harvest Money pullout and find more from what they are saying. Uh, yeah, we have a special section here, The Road to Modernity, that is the NR Manifesto. This week has been the NR Manifesto week, and we have something here for you in the new vision. Moving on in what is making headlines in your favorite copy of the new vision, we have The Beat. The Beat says, a social media lifestyle creating jobs. Okay. Social, me social media influencer, fitness instructor. Okay, this is a story you have to uh, read when you get your copy of the new vision. Uh, we have skills that are the new money makers. That is something you need to find here in the beat. The beat also comes out every Friday, and the beat is a lifestyle pullout that gives you what is happening um, in the weekend and uh, some of the lifestyle news that you need to know. Moving on to the sports docket. The sports docket is telling us Nachivovo Stadium, okay, Nachivovo Stadium works stall. Uh, over redesign. Achievable, achievable. Okay, we see uh, Chimanya into semis and Uganda cranes attract new sponsor. These are the details you will have to read when you will have to get when you get when you read uh, your copy of the new vision. The copy of your new vision is just two thousand shillings, and we are proudly the leading daily. The sun is shining brightly uh, today. Uh, and we have the Kampala sun to, you know, to brighten the sun more. And the Kampala sun has an interesting headline today, which says, Why Brian White fired artists? And then we have Bebe Cool saying, He exploited their shallow brains. <laughs> Kampala sun will get the best of me. Mm, inside the Kampala sun, we have Live After Blood on the dance floor. We have a story here that you should read and also the death match is between two rappers. We have one who has got 2% and the other has got 98%. Yeah, the, this match is between Fefe Busi and Fik Femeka. Who has got 2% and who has got 98%? That is what you have to get when you get, uh, what is what you have to see when you buy your copy of the Kampala Sun. We have Pastor Murray's two men Kampala Sun will get the best of everyone. Then Jenny's hips. <laughs> there is a lot in the Kampala Sun today, and the Kampala Sun is just 1,000 shillings. So grab your copy today and get the best of what you thought you would not get from today's copy. I can't say much. <laughs> Continuing with stories making headlines across the country, let's go to Bushenyi district where authorities of the district have rejected a consignment of cassava cuttings worth millions of shillings from the National Agriculture Advisory Services Secretariat, accusing the body of poor planning. NADS has sent 1,245 bags of cassava cuttings to the district for farmers to plant. The authorities said they asked for inputs for farmers to plant during the rainy season between March and April, but to their surprise, the items arrived late when the dry season is setting in. In a letter dated May 14th, Robin Atumwebaz, an assistant chief administrative officer, said most of the farmers they have they had targeted to plant cassava practice intercropping of cassava in beans, sweet potatoes, and grain nuts, which are now at the flowering stage. They asked the nut secretariat to refer the allocation to August, when farmers will be ready and the season will be conducive for planting. The district chairperson, Jafari Basad Javalava, criticized nuts for sending the inputs late. Basad Javalava wondered why nuts failed to deliver the inputs at the beginning of the rainy seasons. Finally, from Mayuga district, Imams have been advised to preach Allah's message of truth in order to promote peace and unity. The Transport State Minister Agri Bajiri said, The minister said some Imams preach disunity and hatred, a practice which has led to divisions and conflict in communities. Bajiri is the member of parliament for Bunya West. 
He urged imams to preach the word of Allah rightfully to enable communities to live in harmony. The minister was speaking during the closing of a three-day seminar for imams at Masjid Jamir in Mayuge Town Council, Mayuge District. He was, it was organized by the district's Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. He also urged them to behave well, do good and renew their faith through engaging in prayer during Ramadan. On health, Bajiri urged the residents to test and get vaccinated against hepatitis B to live healthier lives. He donated mats Sijadat worth 30 million to 140 mosques in Bunya West constituency. The imams were also given Qurans by the majority by the Mayuga District Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. I am Rathi Nasaje.